Okay, so now I'm going to show you. I want to show you how to make the uh, the leaves for the for the tree. So the way it works is basically what you do is you create a polygon plane. So if you go to polygon primitives, select plane. F to to fit to selection. Now we want it to be less dense than this. So if you go to history here press control A to get this we can change the subdivisions to 2 maybe 2 so this is probably how dense you want it to be maybe without any subdivisions as well so this is what we have and if we look at the window UV texture editor this is what we have square and that's perfectly perfectly fine that's what we want. So now that we have that, we want to go to Photoshop to create the actual texture. So let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. So first let's go to File, New. Let's create a 512 by 512 document. Make sure you have this set to pixels. Say OK. So now we have this square. And it can be at 1024. Actually, that would probably be too high, but probably about 512, maybe 256 by 256. So now let's get some images. Go file, place. And I got a few pictures. Uh, I got some pictures from uh, CG Textures. Or you can Google or find some free source images, or you can take pictures yourself of leaves this way let's look for some more I have some more here if you had something like this one you could you could try and mask everything just so that you get the all the leaves without the background you can get images of just the leaves I got this from CG textures now this one's really easy because you already have they have it as a PNG image so it has transparency already so you decide which one you want to use again you can get these textures from CG textures you can take your own pictures and uh, I'll post them in my website as well if you want to. Links gonna be in the description. So basically, if you have something like this, you could try to mask everything just so that you get all the leaves with the uh, this branch, and you don't get the background. That's the first choice. That's one of the choices you have. Or you can get some of the leaves, some of these leaves separately, and create your own uh, uh, base. I mean, uh, branch. And you can draw that if you wanted to, and just place the leaves wherever you want them. That's one of the good choices as well. So you can decide which way you want to go. Now it. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it that way as well so let me show you like like you could if you select the uh, brush let me make a new layer paint with black you can you can actually draw your own say branch and if you control click on this layer and click here to create a mask and actually click on this square here for which is the mask and control I just to inverse that actually I didn't uh, this one's a transparent uh, layer so let me do that again let me create a new layer I'll do alt delete actually control delete just to get it to be white and do that again, do that 
say that's my branch right there and actually for this one I will have to go to the channels and control click on this one okay click on RGB again and now do that mask you see that it's going to mask everything and we're going to see the things beneath this layer and you can get some texture for the for the actual uh, branch like let me get one right here so if you have a texture like this one you see that you're gonna get that texture if you duplicate it control J and just hold down control to move it around you see that you can get that texture So you can get a texture for the for the for the branches. Now I decided to I went online and I found a picture of a branch. So this is what I got. What I did, I, I found a picture of a branch, and I did some adjustments to it just so that I could get some of the areas, so I could get it to be the way I wanted it to be. And I'm going to provide this one in my website as well, so that you can use it if you want to. So I'm going to use this one because I kind of like it. And again, you can do it. You can just paint your branch if you wanted to. I think that's a good choice. Or get an image and trace it. Trace the branches and to paint them. Let me change a few things about this one. Let me rasterize. Right click. Rasterize. I'm going to E to delete. I'm going to select my lasso, to my lasso tool here. I'm going to select that. You don't have to do this part. I just don't like this area right here. I'm just going to delete that. Okay, so we have this. So I'm going to delete these uh, layers that I created. Throw them to the trash can. So first things first, we want to get one leaf. Now the easiest one would be this one, of course, this one's already done for us. We already have them separately, but you can use just this one. That would be the easy choice, but I want to show you if you wanted to get one of these. So let's get this one. So you can select the lasso tool. Make sure you're working on that layer. And just kind of trace it. Of course it's better if you have a pen and tablet than doing it with the mouse. So you trace it this way. Maybe select another uh, of the of the leaves here. Maybe this one. So shift and select that one. Just so that you have different different leaves. Or again you can try and get the whole thing without the background that would be that would be cool let me select this one as well maybe this one has some perspective to it okay I'm gonna press Q to go into quick mask or press this button right here now what I can do with this quick mask is if I select the paint tool, make sure you're selecting the black and white or press D to make sure that's what you're using. Alt and right mouse click to make the the brush size smaller. You see that you can paint this way. And if you press Q again you can see that's selected now. Let me undo that. And you just want to make sure that you get the leaf exactly the way you wanted it to be
so just paint with black and white if you paint with white you're getting stuff deselected and if you paint with black it's the other way around okay so let's say we have it done here control zero to fit so now let's press Q again and I'm just going to you can make it a mask this way and you have your leaves there or if you wanted to if you press control J you see that you get your lips in a separate layer like this either way it works now I think I want them to be in separate layers so I'm going to select the lasso tool control J this one control control J select this one make sure you change to the original layer control J now in the original layer just delete these so they're not in the way okay and you have them in separate layers now I would recommend that you right click and convert them to smart objects just so that when you scale them they don't lose their uh, their sharpness their details okay so let's go back to this branch let me hide these so we have this right so let's create a new layer fill that with uh, press control backspace control delete to fill with white let me hide that layer now if you only have these two layers visible the branch and the original background go to channels click on the blue one or any of these and control and click on the thumbnail and you see that it selects that now click back on the one that says RGB now let's make this one visible and make a layer I mean a mask click here okay and now you see that if you enable one of the other visibility for one of the other layers you can see that we can see it through so that way we can create the, the texture for it so remember I brought this one this texture you can get one of those textures online as well I'll provide this one as well if you want to so you can get it and start placing it where you want it to be just so that you get your texture if you go on these select here click here if you press alt and drag you're duplicating that layer you can also do the, the control G method that I told you about so keep doing that just so that we have a texture for the for the branches